Do you recall the previously held discussions about the coup in Gabon? Well, neighboring countries like Congo Brazzaville were on high alert because they feared that the events in Gabon might incite their own soldiers to follow suit. Consequently, the president of Congo Brazzaville, along with neighboring countries Cameroon and Equatorial Guinea, decided to reorganize the top military leadership. Essentially, they removed certain generals they suspected might entertain similar ideas. Recently, rumors have been circulating about a possible coup in Congo Brazzaville. Even now, if you visit various social media platforms like Twitter and TikTok, you'll find extensive discussions about this potential coup. However, the situation remains unclear, as the Ministry of Communication in Congo Brazzaville issued a statement. They stated, there are baseless reports suggesting significant unrest in Brazzaville. The government denies these false claims and assures the public that everything is peaceful, encouraging people to carry on with their daily activities. This statement has left people uncertain, with some speculating that it could be a tactic by the regime to divert attention, similar to what we witnessed with the Gabonese president. Reports indicate that internet access and GSM mobile communication in Congo Brazzaville have been temporarily disabled. Journalists have struggled to contact their sources within the country, with only a few managing to communicate via satellite phones, the sole means of connecting with the outside world under the circumstances. This is the current situation in Congo Brazzaville. The truth of whether there is indeed a coup happening in the country remains uncertain. However, this situation underscores the widespread belief among many Africans that a coup could occur in Congo Brazzaville. The root of this belief lies in the country's 79-year-old president, Dennis, who initially came to power in 1979 and ruled for approximately 13 years until 1992. Afterward, he took a hiatus from politics when Congo Brazzaville adopted democratic elections and multi-party politics. He made a comeback in 1997 and has held the presidency ever since, totaling 39 years in power. President Dennis believes that extending his rule by an additional 5 or 10 years will enable him to transform Congo into a developed nation. Speaking of Congo, it's one of the wealthiest countries in Africa, possessing abundant resources such as manganese, timber, tin, lithium, and substantial oil reserves, which are extracted by French energy giant, Total and others. Moreover, Congo Brazzaville has a notably small population, with approximately 2.8 million people, which is a fraction of the population of neighboring capital cities. Despite these riches, the country's streets are riddled with potholes, schools often fail to function, and many Congolese children do not receive an education. The primary issue at the heart of these challenges is the prolonged leadership of President Dennis, who has been in power for nearly four decades. Numerous adults in the country were born during his presidency, which is why many people hope for his removal from power. It's worth noting that President Dennis initially came to power through a coup in 1979 when he was a military leader. Given the prevailing belief that leaders like him do not adhere to democratic principles, some argue that the only way to remove such leaders in Africa is through another coup since they tend not to embrace democracy and elections, the situation in Congo Brazzaville is currently shrouded in uncertainty. There are reports of a possible coup, but verifying the accuracy of these reports remains a challenge. However, this uncertainty reflects a broader sentiment shared by many Africans, a belief that a coup could be a viable means of political change in the country. This sentiment is rooted in the leadership of President Dennis, who has held power for an extended period, but what are your thoughts on this so far? Could a coup in Congo Brazzaville be imminent, or is a coup already ongoing? Please leave your suggestions in the comments.